Hi Arches! In today's video, I'll be comparing Shade and Sylvan, as well as guiding you through the best way to use Shade. We'll be going through all of Shade's stats, her pros and cons, a comparison between Shade and Sylvan, and gear and ability recommendations. My name is Teeds. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe and click the bell for more Archer videos. A disclaimer, this is based on my experience, my numbers, and my research. I have been spending the last few days testing things on Shade, and this is what I've come up with with the numbers I ran. Since Archero does not share the exact numbers, it's up to us Archero players to figure out the stats ourselves. Shade is very unique and it was quite hard since she has two forms. First, Shade's stats. Shade cost me 28 Australian dollars, which is around 18 euros or 19 US dollars. This makes her one of the most expensive heroes in the game along with the hero Sylvan. Shade's special skill has a real self and shadow self. The real self has dark powers and the shadow self has increased dodge, attack and attack speed. She has a base health of 550 while Sylvan has a base health of 600. This means Sylvan has a higher base health than Shade. Shade's base attack is 170 while Sylvan's base attack is 160, also meaning that Shade has higher base attack. Shade grants universal stats for all heroes at level 20 with increased damage to ground units plus 100 and increased max HP plus 5% at level 60. She gains a personal stat of 5% crit chance at level 40 and increased attack speed plus 5% at level 80. Shade's stats are pretty good. The damage to ground units for all heroes does cover a lot of enemies, and it also considers the weapon's modifier, meaning the damage is not a straight 100 if you have a weapon with a high damage modifier. She also gains increased crit chance for herself, which boosts her damage quite a lot. Let's understand her real form and shadow form. Each form lasts for 4 seconds, and then will automatically switch over. In her real form, Shade gains a special skill. It's pretty much an enhanced Dark Touch Arrow ability. I tested this with a level 60 Shade and a level 50 Perfect Epic Brave Bow. My equipment page damage is 2,794, however in game it is sometimes 2,894 due to her universal stat increased damage to ground units. As you can see here, this is how Shade's damage works. One is my basic attack damage and one is my dark arrow damage, which applies a tick to the enemy. This will tick twice and then explode. This will not refresh each time you hit them with a normal attack. The initial hit and explosion of the dark arrow ability deals around 135% of your base damage. Weapon modifiers do not affect the dark arrow damage. The tick damage is 30% of your base damage and is also not affected by your weapon modifiers. However, both the initial and the explosion damage are affected by ability boosts like attack boost and rage, and damage will increase with multi-shot and front arrow. The tick damage is not affected by any of these and will always stay the same. The explosion damage will also deal damage to any nearby targets of the initial target for the same amount of damage. No decrease. Then we have her shadow form. Her shadow form gains dodge, increase attack and attack speed. So I spent around 30 minutes sitting in a level and took 1000 hits to roughly calculate her dodge percentage. No heroes in the game have a base dodge. I believe the only hero in the game right now that does have a base dodge is Miagic. Once he hits level 40, he will gain 5% dodge. Shade's base dodge from my calculations is roughly 13%. This could be off, it was very hard to calculate, but I'm thinking it might be somewhere between 10 to 15% dodge. With her increased attack speed, this is purely based on the bow here. But with the bow, in 4 seconds with her real self that does not have any increased attack speeds, she will fire 7 attacks. With her shadow self, in 4 seconds, she will fire 9 attacks. So her shadow self can throw an extra 2 attacks with the bow in her shadow form. Then we have her increased attack in her shadow form. There are no special effects, she just has a boosted attack. I did get different numbers depending on what I was using, but from what it seems, the damage is between 170 to 180% of your base damage and also factors in weapon modifiers. Now that we have her damage numbers, let's compare these numbers to Savan. The numbers were honestly a little confusing for me, but I finally got it. If you're interested in Savan's exact stats, the video will be linked in the description box below. 
However, this is just a quick comparison between the two. These calculations are based on my level 60 Sylvan and level 60 Shade, both with a perfect epic bow. Shade's base attack is 2,894 and Sylvan's base attack is 2,712. Back when Sylvan was released, I determined him to be the strongest hero in the game, stronger than Helix and stronger than Magic. But when Shade came along, it had me questioning if Sylvan was still the strongest. With my calculations, if everything was perfect for Sylvan, Sylvan's damage per second is 9,912. This is just the average. It factors in his poison, his fire, and his lightning damage. His freeze does not deal any damage. With Shade, her average DPS, which is damage per second, sorry, factors in her real and shadow form, and that equals to a total of 11,602. Remember, these are just averages to include all factors in determining their damage per second. I was able to find this average by calculating the base damage with the attack speed and adding together the shadow self damage plus the skill, tick, and explosion damage. This also factors in the increased attack speed of her shadow self. But remember, this is just all with the epic bow. The numbers would be very different with a different weapon. So that's a massive difference in damage per second between Sylvan and Shade, crowning Shade the strongest hero damage-wise. This does not include her possible damage to other targets during explosions, and also does not include her 5% crit chance. She also may have a glitch because sometimes, not all the time, her initial dark touch shot procs twice, but will not do the full damage pattern. I do not think this is intentional, however I'll take it, it just makes her stronger. Her damage, paired up with her increased dodge chance, is pretty strong. But one of the biggest pros for Sylvan is that he takes away 4 abilities from the ability pool. So for those who are deciding if they should get Sylvan or Shade, I guess the biggest question for you is would you rather have a better chance at high tier abilities with Sylvan, or would you rather have a huge increase in damage and some dodge with Shade? From my calculations, Shade is stronger than Sylvan, however if I had to use one of them, I think I might stick with Sylvan. I just find him more fun as a hero overall and I love having a higher chance of grabbing multi-shot, rage, ricochet and all the other strong abilities. Knowing the difference between damage and what Shade does, let me know in the comments who you would rather use, Shade or Sylvan. Next, Shade's pros and cons. The pros. Shade has a base dodge in her shadow form, which other heroes do not have. She has the highest damage of all heroes. Shade has a lot of buffs depending on her form, deals even more damage with explosions being able to damage surrounding enemies from the target. The cons? Shade is really expensive. I personally do not find her very fun in comparison to Miyajik, Helix, and Sylvan. Multi-shot and front arrow will decrease the damage of her dark touch ability. Lastly, gear and ability recommendations. It really depends on what you enjoy the most. I do have a bunch of new tier lists that you can refer to which will be linked in the description box below. But I personally would run Vessel Dexterity for increased dodge chance, 2 Epic Lion Rings, 2 Bull Rings or 2 Serpent Rings, Angel Amulet, Freeze Bracelet and Enlightenment. For weapons, whichever you have the most fun with honestly. As for abilities, Ricochet, Rage, Multi-Shot, Front Arrow, Agility and Dodge are very interesting picks because they do increase her dodge again. This also depends on the weapon you're using. While Multi-Shot and Front Arrow do decrease the damage of your explosions and initial shot for Dark Touch skill, I have not yet calculated the numbers for that. I will most likely do that for the Hero tier list I'm releasing soon. That is all for today's video and I just wanted to ask you guys, I am very, very close to 50,000 subscribers. So I was wondering what you think I should do for 50k. I have not really done any YouTube specials before and I have no idea what I should do. Should I do a giveaway? Should I do some video silly ideas or something like that? Please let me know in the comments if you have any ideas because I absolutely do not know what I'm going to do for the 50k special. But as a pre thank you, if you reached this far in the video, thank you so much for helping me reach 50,000 subscribers. Well, almost 50,000 subscribers. I never thought I would be in the position I am right now, and it's absolutely insane to me. But yeah, that is all for today's video. Subscribe and click the bell for more art show videos. Like the video if you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments any ideas you have for 50k, or if you would rather use Sylvan or Shade. I hope to see you again for the next one. Bye!